Hey sisters and brothers, this is Neil Jepson. I am out in a beautiful winter day in San Antonio, Texas, and I'm just trying to think about what might most help us right now to really accelerate the work for our students. Take a look at this little demonstration and pay close attention. Whatever you do, keep your eye on that little piece of chocolate. <laughs> Still see it? Don't lose focus, keep your eye on it. Alright, what do you think? Where is it? We know it's under one of the pink cups because that's where it started. Nope. Nope. Yep. Did you have it? Yeah, but did you see the duck? Here it comes. Did you notice that? <laughs> also, did you notice that there was a fifth hand in the video? There it is. <laughs> the things we miss sometimes, right? Pay attention to this. Did you notice that there were blue cups at the beginning, but green cups at the end? There's the beginning setup. Now watch. Sometimes when I'm teaching, I'll miss the Savior Jesus Christ completely. I'll get so distracted on the moving cups and on the discussion and, and sometimes just completely and totally miss him. Let's take this verse in 1 Nephi chapter 2, verse 15, and my father dwelt in a tent. If we look at that verse and we try to imagine what Lehi must have looked like, a respected, loved father now dwelling in a tent, and we identify that Lehi has sacrificed everything and and perhaps the truth comes out that as i as i sacrifice what the lord wants me to to sacrifice great blessings are in my future that could perhaps be one of the principles but then to pause and ask this question just so we don't miss him just so we don't miss the savior of the world what do i learn about the savior's character or his personality from that principle or from this verse well, a discussion might bring out that I learned that he did the same thing. He was willing. He has a very willing personality to submit to the will of his father, to leave his father's kingdom and his father's side and to go out into a mortal wilderness and to dwell in a mortal tent and to give everything he had to the purpose of glorifying and saving God's children. And why did he do it? because he could see the future through faith. He knew what was coming and trusted that the Father could do it. So for me, the personality traits that I see in Jesus Christ are willingness. I also see him, uh, I also see in his personality a desire to invite and to include other people in this great journey. And, and he's an encourager. Um, and as I come to know these personality traits about Jesus, I'm learning about Lehi and the truths that he's laying out but I'm also learning to trust the Savior because I'm coming to know him personally. I can see how willing he is to help me. I can see how encouraging he is in my journey in the wilderness and my time that I have to spend in the tent comparatively. All of those things help me to learn the gospel of Jesus Christ, but it also helps me to learn about Jesus and come to trust him even more. I have found myself teaching and have noticed that um, sometimes I really emphasize a certain principle, but then never mention or teach the author of the truth, uh, the author of the principle, which of course is always Jesus Christ. And I am asking you to make sure that in your teaching that we just never miss the Savior, that the Savior is at the center of our teaching and our conversations. And my encouragement for you in the next couple days of teaching is to simply ask this one question. What do you learn about the Savior's character or his personality from this story or principle? Once again, what do you learn about the Savior's character or his, or his personality 
from this story or principle. What we really want our students to connect with the Savior regardless of circumstances, no matter where you're teaching. You might be teaching first Nephi and seeing Laman and Lemuel and Nephi argue with each other. You might be teaching somewhere in the Old Testament and, and trying to figure out what this story has to do with Jesus Christ may prove to be a challenge. But if you ask the question, your class together will be able to discover that. Thanks, brothers and sisters. We'll see you next time. I love San Antonio winter. What the heck? This is perfect.